Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to be seeing this, um, I would like to offer your weekly rune elemental reading for October 6th through the 12th of 2024. Um, if you are new to working with elements, I have a link in the description as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac. Uh, and if you've never had your charts done, there is a natal interpretation chart, which is really cool and handy, and I won't go too much into it. Uh, it gives you your birth chart, but then it gives you 10 to 20 pages of a description. So you can check those out if you're interested. And there's some other goodies linked in the description to kind of help you get started with your journey into the runes if you're interested in those type of things otherwise we will get started with our first energy which is fire and fire covers the zodiac signs of aries leo and sagittarius so how i do these is i read intuitively so we'll take the cliff notes version from the book that came with the runes and then we will see what source has to add to those so we're working with our first rune for fire and we have of course it's not on the first page uh Wunjo. so this is the joy rune its color is yellow tarot association is strength astrology is leo so this is definitely tapping into that fire energy that you carry a sign of happiness and harmony between people, a situation changing for the better. So if there's been a struggle that you've been working with fire energies, or if there has been something that has not been quite right, there's just something that's been a little bleh, something that's been a little bit off, this is a good sign that there's gonna be a resolution coming in, whether that's at work, at home, or in another area of your life. And with that it being said, really pay attention to what your intuition is telling you because there could be something that little that you have to change for yourself and it will completely flip the script for the entire situation but overall it's the first rune you have is really saying this is going to be a good week for fire your second rune is kano which is the torch rune um, and it also is a symbol of fire color of light red tarot association is the chariot astrology is venus so you're working with a little bit of water energy here it signifies the creative fire awakening artistic impulses passion and uh amorous energy so when you have these two going on it could be a resolution between a couple like uh relationship there's just been a little bit of an, a bickering it's not been a big fight nothing about this energy saying it's been a big battle what it's really saying though is the resolution is coming in it's going to come in quick quick with the chariot and also with the strength you're dealing with something that's happening pretty fast along the way there's not going to be a lot of delay so when that resolves itself though the beauty of this is it's going to deepen the relationship that you had with that person whether that person is a, a romantic partner whether it's a business association whether it's just a general friendship the energy is going to shift and make the relationship a deeper relationship um, and if you're in a if you're if you are in a partnered relationship a romantic relationship this could be a really good time to just take once you resolve the situation take the time to really focus on your partner and the relationship itself go on a date night something something along those lines and I don't know why when I do the rune readings I have this problem but I have <laughs> been having it for a minute now um, but when you really tap into that relationship feeling once the situation has been resolved you're going to notice that there's a, a lighter feeling between it and the connection is going to be a lot stronger again these are general readings so take what works and leave the rest but that's the vibe I'm getting there for our fire family so let's take a peek at our earth family and earth is Taurus Virgo and Capricorn and your first rune is the Fehu rune so this is one of your elder Futhark so it's a uh, older rune color is light red tarot association is the tower and astrology is Aries earth this could be an interesting week for you good luck uh, success fertility and harmony 
that's the base meaning of the rune, but you have a tarot association of the tower, so there's a little bit of creative destruction going on, like there's something that needs to be taken down or removed for things to move forward, and when you have Aries, you're also dealing with this flashy fire energy that's really wanting to pull forward and like make things happen, so <laughs> there's going to be some interesting energy for you this week. Your second rune continues that, and that is the blank rune, which is the word rune, which is also the symbol of fate, and it signifies mystery, fate, unknown, having trust, and faith. You're working with two runes this week that are calling you to have faith, understand that there's a process going forward here, and that things are going to be getting better, but it's going to happen in a way that you may not expect. When we talk about good luck and we talk about um, success, and a lot of times it happens because of random synchronicities that line up and actually make things better. But you also have to remember with the Tower and Aries, there could be a little bit of a shaking going on this week for our Earth family, and that doesn't make it bad. It just means if things start to shift in a weird way, enjoy the ride because there's things some something's going on behind the scenes that God Source divine has said you know what we are going to get you what you need we're going to help fulfill things for you but this week is definitely going to be one where it's best to just kind of okay what what are we doing we're working with fate we're working with the tower we're working with some of these bigger energies that are resetting a situation and this could be something super minor it could be a little bit bigger but this week is where you're going to notice that shifting energy so, let's hop over to our air family, and air is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and air, your first rune is the Isa rune, which is the ice rune, and its color is black, which is interesting considering ice is white, or clear. Uh, tarot association is the hermit, and astrology is the moon. This rune denotes some kind of obstacle, coldness between people, a time to observe, keep silent, refrain from comment air this is not going to be a strong one for you <laughs> you are the element of communication but you're also the element of knowledge and wisdom so in one sense that's going to be easy you're observing you're building up uh, uh, an information base to work off of but going along with that there could be some people that see you as standoffish or um, see the fact that you speak in a true state truth manner could be a little bit be seen as hostile um, this week it's not going to be something that you want to get involved in this is where you step away from the hermit energy is talking about pulling away meditating going inside developing the tools that you already have to a new level because sometimes it's just better to not be involved in all the chaos that's going on in the world and that's where this is coming in is the ice is saying it's going to appear that you have stopped or that you have stepped away. In reality, you're pulling back because you need to recharge, and that's what, I, what I'm hearing for this. Your second rune is the Gibo rune, which is blessings and generosity. The color is deep blue. Tarot association is the lovers. Astrology is Pisces. In one sense, this is kind of like some very supportive energy. Uh, it's a sign of gifts, generosity, giving, people coming together, relationships becoming deeper. So these almost feel like they're contrary runes, but what I'm hearing is they're really not because they're saying in some situations you're going to have to pull back. This is They're showing me business for some reason. So if maybe in your work world, it's time to pull back, pull away from the coworkers and allow allow things to settle down because you're need, you need to observe what is happening is what I'm hearing because there's some things that some sh they're <laughs> they're saying that there's, there's some shady things going on behind the scenes and it's going to be in your best interest to observe and figure out what's really going on so you're not getting tied up in all of that but the other side of it is the Gibo rune is saying even though that's going on at work your home life, you're getting a lot of this more positive energy, this lover's energy, and it's building a give and take. So when you're at work, you're kind of basically have your guard up for a short period of time, and when you come home, you can let it down, and that's going to be a benefit for you and your partner overall because that's going to show that when you're home, you're safe, you're comfortable, 
And that's when the gifts and the giving come in because Gibo is all about sharing. It's all about generosity. And the blessing that goes along with that is the fact that when you are home with your partner, with your loved ones, with your family, you don't have to worry about the ice stuff that's going on at work, the ice rune, because that's really, they're really being loud about that is it's, that's work. So whatever's going on at work, step away from it, observe it. If people think you're being cold and distant, that's on them. Let them have their opinion because their opinion is their opinion. It doesn't really apply to you, Air. Um, but you're going to be gaining knowledge by observing, and that's the important part of that. But when you're home, be generous with your time. When you're not at work, out with your friends, whatever it is, really enjoy that emotional bonding, that give and take of energy that's supporting, that's resilient, and that's soul building. So let's hop over to our water family, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and our Pisceans. Your first rune, if I can find it, there it is, is Uraz. Color is dark green. Tarot Association is the High Priestess. Astrology is Taurus. So you've got some earth energy, but High Priestess energy also ties into the water and the moon. So you're working with some feminine um, grounding energy is what I'm hearing. Creative power, wisdom, knowledge, standing for good fortune and opportunity, and sexuality. So water this week <laughs> is definitely about tapping more into the receptive um, or more uh, submissive type energy that is not to say weak that's the that's something that is misconstrued in the world today because being submissive does not mean being weak it means i'm letting someone else take the lead because i don't have to and that's what's coming forward and with taurus it's saying i don't have to because i am staying grounded and i'm centered here and i'm working on things for the hearth for the home for long-term future so you don't have to be the one out front pushing the the cart sideways basically and with the dark green it's really saying this is a health and healing process that you're working through um also enjoy your partner this week they're really and i know that's a weird thing to say and i mention it fairly frequently but that is one thing that one that they bring up a lot is when we are working on ourselves when we're working on big things in our life sometimes spending that intimate time with your partner and it could be um <laughs> amorous bedroom activities or simply just snuggling up with them on the couch being in their presence that has a very unique healing property for the soul and for the mind and body because there's a trust and there's a familiarity there that means you don't actually have to talk you can just be in that person's presence and that's what i'm hearing for our water family your second rune is the algae's rune which is protection color of gold tarot association is the moon astrology is cancer so we're definitely working with some of that solar energy but it's into our water world uh, signifies protection from danger, resisting temptations, new beginnings are possible. So this week is not a week of heightened activity for our water family. This is not a time for being projective. This is not a time for being aggressive. This is saying tap into that fluid nature of your water. Tap into that more feminine nature of being receptive. And when I say submissive, I do not mean weak. I mean knowing that you don't have to be the one in charge this week. It's someone else's job to do that this week. So you get to work on the important things, the hearth, the home, taking care of your own mental and physical well-being, which also takes care of your partner or your family's well-being. And with that, you're being protected. The algae's rune is really wanting to bring that up as well, that you're being protected so you can do what Uraz is bringing forward for you. But the High Priestess and the beauty of this set of runes you've got going on, the High Priestess and the Moon are very much water energy. And with those two energies, you're also dealing with, you are speaking from the point of divine and you're speaking from the point of the goddess or of the divine feminine. So you don't have to be the one driving the cart. You are there to be the support. You are there to, in reality, do a more important job than the person pushing because you're supporting them. You're making sure that the rest of their task is easier because you're handling all the side stuff. And this week is really going to be water. You're showing your supportive role, but you're also showing your power because water is one of the most powerful elements in a lot of ways because 
It takes a little bit longer, but nothing stands in the way of, fire, of water when it really gets itself moving. And it wears down rock, it wears down steel, it wears down anything that's in its path because water has a power and it takes time. Water's not super aggressive, it can be, don't get me wrong. If you've ever seen a mudslide or a waterfall, you'll know it can be aggressive. But it's not the aggression that usually wears things down and makes things smooth. That's the slow move motion of water over time. And with this week, especially for water, allow things to be a little bit slower because it will eventually be more smooth in the end. So with that, this week, um, energetically what I'm feeling is this week is going to be a productive week. It's not going to be productive and the same for all of the elements. The energy that's coming in is saying this is a time for creativity, for expansion, for spending time with those who are most important to you, your inner circle, your partners, your intimate relationships. What I'm hearing is that work is going to be a little bit more of a challenge this week than normal, which depending on how that shows up for you, it's up to you. But it's not going to be bad. It's more just like there's some drama going on and this is a reminder that you don't have to be involved. You can set that over there because the important things are your mental, physical, and spiritual health and the bonds and connections you have with your inner circle and your intimate circle. So as you go through this week, remember what's important. Work is just work. There's always going to be more of it. So don't let that damage the rest of it. So... With that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.